What up besties, my name is Manaya and I'm really stoked to be this week's West End's Best Friends Super Study of the Week. Yes, that was a mouthful. All right. Who am I? So I'm the current man five in the Hamilton West End company. That's James Reynolds, Philip Schuyler, the doctor, you know, bit pieces here and there, but I'm in the ensemble. I also cover Aaron Burr, Mulligan Madison, Lafayette Jefferson, and George Washington. So I've got a lot of people in my brain and it looks something like this. So we stuff with the size of the government. Wasn't the trouble with much of our previous government size. Look in his eyes, see how he lies. Follow the sense of his enterprise. Centralizing national credit and making American credit competitive. If we don't stop it, we aid in the better. I have to resign. So when I started in this company, I started as a swing standby, which I covered the non-dancing ensemble tracks. Your man five, your man six, and three principal tracks, uh, Aaron Burrow, Mulligan Madison, and Jefferson Lafayette. I didn't really have to do what regular swings do in, in terms of covering the dance tracks, which I think is an incredible skill to have, but uh, my body can't do that one. So, <laughs> so luckily there was a little niche for me in this company. And now I'm on stage every night, but I still cover those same principal tracks and I actually picked up an extra one because I didn't think uh, the work was hard enough. Anyway, <laughs> so this being my first West End gig and my first time covering in such a capacity, I kind of didn't know what I was in for. <laughs> I was so green that um, I didn't really know how much work it was going to take. And I think that was a blessing in disguise because had I kind of known what the undertaking was to learn five tracks and to maintain them and to retain them and to have them ready to go on whenever I'm called. Uh, had I known all of that, it might have been a bit intimidating in the audition process. <laughs> I guess we just kind of took it day by day and we just made sure we really knew what we could do and that I could uh, work on what all the material that I had in my brain to a point where we can shape it and make it my own so it can make it easier for me to retain all that information. So the audition process for me, I can't actually compare it to anything because this is my first kind of, this is my first big show, but I can just talk, talk about the experience in, in general. The first round, standard, sing, can you sing, can you rap? Great, you can, great, move on. Next round was, they just kind of threw maybe 10 pieces at you to kind of just to see what you could do with different characters and different material and also if you could retain it if you could learn it get it off book and luckily the material clicked with me so I could hold it just well enough to convince them to get me to the next round the last round of auditions was nuts they had I had like something like 30 pieces to have off book and to just go with I had four characters to play with um, and the singing and rapping section was a good two hours of just me <laughs> and the creative team which when you don't know any better it's 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 hard but it was it was how it was for me and I think not knowing that that was a bizarre thing to do really helped because it, it didn't freak me out and it didn't intimidate me enough to to get over it and, ha and hey here I am and so yeah that's the audition process in terms of learning the show I think it's really important to and when I say this it sounds dumb because it's like duh of course you got to do that but it's really important to get a really good grasp of the show as a whole to learn the context of all the conversations to learn all of the movements that's necessary, all of the blocking, all of the dialogue, um, and really get into the story and understand it as much as you can. Because once you get a kind of grasp of the flow of the whole show, it makes the material a lot easier to stay in your brain and to retain all of that information because it almost comes up naturally, almost organically, because your, your, your understanding of the, of, of the material is so in depth that it just comes out and along with like drilling lines it really helps to go deeper and deeper and I think that's how I learned all those tracks because I would learn things I didn't need to know I would 
try to pay as much attention to the surroundings of each character so that it kind of feeds into uh, remembering and retaining everyone else, but also helps your performance as a whole and individually. Almost like a cheat sheet or like a, a shortcut into learning your tracks. But yeah, really understanding the the text or the show or the or the material that you're given, I think is the best advice I could give on learning multiple tracks and kind of retaining them and giving them more life. The first time I went on at all was for Man 5 and I don't really remember much. I remember being nervous about the responsibility of doing it justice. That's kind of all I was nervous about. I'm absolutely sure I got things wrong. As I'm thinking about it now, I can kind of remember people like having a giggle at me. But the main thing I remember is just the overwhelming support of my cast, of the creative team, of my peers and colleagues. And I think that was just like hands that just lifts you up and makes you want to do it more. We have a little prayer circle at the beginning of every show just to be appreciative and let everyone know that everyone is supported and it was amazing and I didn't get fired so boom <laughs> I really like being a cover I really do it's nice to think that you can be counted on that people can trust you to do something that's seemingly impossible it's nice to be creative especially in long contracts sometimes you can get stuck in your one track it can only naturally become slightly monotonous and repetitive. But as a cover, you never know when you're going on. So you've always got a little bit of excitement about it. And when you do go on, you're not exactly sure what's going to come out because you can be as rehearsed as possible. And once you get hit by those lights and you hear the scream of the crowd, some things go out the window and some things become even better. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Consistent, tiring work. There's a lot of reward for it. And it's dope to play more than one character in a show that you like because you get to experience it from different angles. And it's never the same show. So with that being said, thank you to West End Best Friends and thank you for letting me be your Super Study of the Week. Peace.